Here we go. What is going on guys? Just got on to our first body of water for this trip. After a little quick half mile portage and a long drive down a pretty bumpy dirt road, which is actually fun. So right now I'm by myself. Logan couldn't make it on this trip, but Jay's here and he's already been here for a night or two. And we're about to go meet up with him right now. We got about 200, 300 meters to yoke, and then we're going to hook up to the wheels. Just in case you guys are wondering why I use the system I do and why I don't just yoke it, this is what I have in my boat. Alright, we made it to our lake. We're here pretty much pretty much pink leaf color, I would say. We might have missed it by a few days. Complete peak. It's pretty nice. We got one rod in the water. I'm going to come around this bend, get the other one down, and see if we can get a fish before we get to camp. Guys, we got a fish already. We just started. This is either going to be a rainbow trout or a salmon. And Paul started making lures, big spinner rigs for trout and salmon and I got a wobbler going on the left side and I got one of Paul's lures on the right and we hooked up on Paul's lure so yeah this thing works salmon nice second landlock salmon I've ever caught That's nice landlock pretty fish Guys, we just dropped our stuff off at the lean-to, and we're right back out fishing. I woofed down a sandwich real quick. It's 5.30, and that's the first I've eaten all day today. And hopefully we can both get on a couple more fish this evening. But if only one of us do, I hope Jay catches none. <laughs> Alright, Jay and I just paddled over into another lake. And for the last like hour of light that we have, we're going to try and catch some brook trout. I just went over a pretty nice mark. I'm hoping we hook up here. The lake we're camped on is a pretty big lake. This one's a nice, nice little small pond. It's beautiful back here. got a nice little brook trout guys on Paul's rig again I do got a fish nice little brook trout beautiful colors yeah he swam away nice we got another little brookie Oh, he shook off. That's all right. I'll take that. I saw him. About the same size, maybe an inch smaller. Just before we got him in the net, he shook off. I'd rather have him do that than swallow the hook and die. You know what? Let's try power bait worm. I like to use these Berkeley power bait bubblegum trout worms. They work really well. And they never get stripped, which is nice. Getting to be about that time for this lake. I'm going to do one more swing around the end of this lake here, and then me and Jay are heading out of here back to our home lake. 
going to be dark in like a half hour. But I'm pretty happy with this evening. If we don't get another two brook trout in the salmon, it's only the second landlocked salmon I've ever caught. So it was a good evening for me. Look at that sunset, guys. That's pretty spectacular. Jay and I made it back to camp. He got a fire going. It's pretty nice. He's working on his dinner. I already ate a sandwich before we went out fishing. And we're both set up here in the lean-to. Well, I'm set up now. He already was. Jay's over here. I'm over on this side, and I'm hoping there's some mosquitoes out, and I'm hoping I don't get all bit up tonight. But this is a pretty nice setup here. It's nice sleeping in a lean-to. All right, that's it for tonight, guys. But Jay and I are about to hit the hay. We had a good day of fishing. We didn't fish very long, and we got a salmon and two brook trout. I'll take that any day. So we will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We are both up. It's a little before 7 o'clock. It's really beautiful out there. It's a little bit of fog on the water. All of the leaf color change looks really nice through it. And Jay, for the first time ever, Jay said, I got to make coffee first. <laughs> Jay's a coffee drinker now. Yes, I did that thing yesterday where I went out to fish right away and wouldn't come in to make it till I got a fish. And... Yeah. It went on until like 9 a.m. and I got that salmon. Yeah. And then the second I put it back in the water, I go, all right, yeah. let's go make some coffee. Yeah. All right, guys, everything is strapped down. Rods are strapped down with gear ties and these rubber ties I have for the fronts. Yokes on. Leaving the fish finder here for this one and we got to... Do a, probably about what, 300 meter, 400 meter portage? Yeah, not much. And then a quick bushwhack and we'll be on our pond. The things we do to catch trout. Whoa! Look how beautiful that is, though, huh? We're almost at the end of our first pass and a little ways back there. I told Jay I'd be surprised if neither one of us got a fish on the first pass. And as soon as I said it, his rod bent over. I'm almost ready to stop and go back. I got one bite. He missed it, though.
Look, we got a fish. Oh yeah, we got a fish. On Paul's lure. Such a tough, small little brook trout. A little beat up too, but that's the little guy. Look at those colors. had a bite and we missed it so we grabbed the rod out of the holder gave him a little slack and he got it back get in here all right guys we caught two i let the first one go you guys didn't see it and there's another little tiny guy but beautiful colors on this little guy look at that and Jay and I decided to take a little break from fishing that pond to walk this trail at the other end of the lake. Another nice little spot along the trail we came to walk down to. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty nice. We were just talking about the fishing and so far I met six fish and I got Paul's lure winning over the wobbler four to two. So good job, Paul. All right, we made it back to the boats. All right, we're back on the portage trail. We got five trout all together. I think Jay missed a couple, I missed one. Jay's were a little bigger than mine. His were like about a foot. Mine were, all three were under 10 inches. But definitely not a bust. Three book trout is good. He's cooking up a couple ham steaks for breakfast. It's actually more like brunch now. Yeah. Actually, lunch. I, I guess think so. at this point. We're out. And it is hot. We got a little bit of a paddle till we get out to the open water here, and we'll drop down. And not surprisingly, we got skunk for this session. It's blazing hot. Mid 80s right now. Jay and I had to come in and take refuge from the biting flies and the sun and heat. We're just hanging out right now in the lean-to in the shade and it feels like it's 20 degrees cooler in the shade. It might be. Uh, it's time to head back out and try and do some fishing for the evening. It's still pretty hot out, but we have to leave now to get to the lakes we want to get to. Yeah, we made it to our lake. Trying to decide if I'm going to stay on this one or go to the next one over and try that one too. Alright, I made up my mind. We're going to the next lake. This lake is smaller and easier to fish and I know there's brook trout in here. But I haven't seen the next one yet. So, we gotta go see it. My brain was telling me to stay at the other lake because I know there's fish there. I caught fish there, but my heart was telling me, you got to go and see the next one. And we got it all to ourselves. It's always nice.
we got one. Oh, the sun is right in my ass too. I'm curious to see what this fish is. Let him get a little tired. He bit it and missed it. And I had to give him slack two different times before he took it. He's angry. Really nice rainbow trout. 14. If I didn't pinch my barb, he wouldn't have made it. Nice fish. Ooh. He's gone. I'm glad we came over here. We got that nice rainbow. But it's getting late now. We might be paddling in the dark. We gotta go three lakes. It's 20 after 6 now. I gotta get back down this lake, and it's pretty big. Then I gotta paddle down the next small lake, then across our lake. That's alright. It was worth it for that fish. We got three species now. We got salmon, brook trout, and rainbow trout. All right, we got this now. I had to put the sonar down. All right, we good. We fished that second lake, the middle lake, and now we're hauling butt back to our home lake. So we can get a troll and back to camp. I think either all either of us got was that one rainbow trout I caught. So nice to make the right decision. So I follow my heart. And not my brain. Maybe I should start doing that with everything I do. No more brain. Not listen to you anymore. We made it back to camp. It's a rough day of fishing for us. It was just too hot. Got a few little brookies this morning. One rainbow this evening. That's it. Went up and got some kindling and Jay chopped some wood down from the wood we got last night. Got a nice fire going already. Real quick. Jay's making some curry and rice. Non bread. Yeah, man. Nice. All right, guys, that's it. I am done. I'm tuckered out. I'm ready to crash. We had a pretty good day. The fishing seemed slow, but when we tallied it up, we were pretty we were pretty happy with what we did because of the weather, heat, sun. So we will see you in the morning. We'll get up bright and early and get at it again. Good night, good night guys. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It is a much nicer day by my standards. It is cool, cloudy, and it's going to be a cooler day today. We got some water boiling right now for coffee and oatmeal. Good morning, Jay. Yo. And me and Jay are going to go in two different directions today. I'm going to go up to the right into some other ponds and lakes, and he's going to go the other way into some other ponds and lakes. Out of the campsite as you can see it's incredibly foggy for the first time ever while i've been canoe tripping it's gotten more foggy as time went on usually it's 
when you wake up it's foggy and the sun comes out and burns it off but it's become when we woke up there was hardly any fog and now it's like a whiteout when i come back i'm going to decide on if i'm going to stay another night or leave today depends on how sore i am my shoulder is pretty bad i probably shouldn't even be out doing this but you only get so many seasons to do this in your life and i don't want to miss any check it out guys this is what i'm looking at in my boat how i got everything set up I've got my sonar right between my legs right here the rods and the rod holders I've got my forceps clipped to this gear tie and then my net on the little stretchy lanyard connect to that gear tie so i don't lose anything works pretty good for me All right, we made it on to the next lake. We're going to fish this one for just a little bit, and then we're going to go into the next one. We're going to fish across the next one, and then we're going to go into a new one past that. We got a brook trout. I'm assuming it's a brook trout. In here, I think they're all brookies. Beautiful trout. Little guy, but he's pretty. Beautiful fish. Look at those colors. That is nice. Lake number three. And then we're heading into lake number four which is a new lake for me. I've never been there. This was a new lake for me last night. The next one's gonna be new for me altogether today. So I'm excited for that. I love seeing new lakes for the first time. We ended up having to keep that brook trout. He swam away, went down under the boat straight down. I was resetting my line, all of a sudden I heard something splashing behind me. It was him. Water's extremely low through here. So yesterday, my heart made a good choice and we got that nice rainbow. But today I made the wrong choice. Jay went the opposite direction to me. And he just called me and said he's smashing big brook trout. Look at the size of that beaver lodge. We're back at camp. We're here by ourselves right now. We're waiting on Jay to get back still. I cleaned up that fish. It's 11 inch brook trout. It's not a meal, but it'll be a nice, nice to eat with our meal tonight. It'll taste delicious. It's a perfect size eater. All right, Jay's back from slaying the fish. He's about to look at some pictures and we're making up some noodle soup for lunch. Something real quick, we'll take a break, drink some water, and we'll head back out there and do some more fishing. Lunch is done, and I just had a taste of it. It's pretty delicious. This is coming with me on trips from now on for lunch. All right, guys, it's time to get back out there. I want to get one nice big fish before I go. We caught the salmon, the rainbow, and the brook trout, so we got all three species. Now I want to get, I'd like to get a trophy. So we're heading out, we got to get across this lake, then another lake and onto a third lake. We got one portage to get into the lake we're going to be fishing.
And on to the sixth lake of our trip. I'm hoping, praying I can get one of these nice big ones that he got earlier here. Hopefully he didn't die down. If I can get one like 16 to 20 inch rookie or like an 18 to 22 inch rainbow, I'll be a pretty happy guy. If our rod doesn't go off here, I'd be surprised. 30, 40 seconds. We got a fish. Feels decent. If I had to guess, I'd say rainbow. Not a monster. But we have to keep it out of our other line here. This fish is nice. Yep. Big brook trout. Ooh. We can't lose this fish, guys. We gotta finesse this fish. This is going to be my best ever percent We got him. <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish. Nope. Oh, he wants to go back in the water. We got to let him go. Let me get a quick measurement on him. 17. All right, one more look. That was definitely the nicest brook trout I've ever caught. 17 inches, beautiful colors, dark, bright spots, thick, strong fish, strongest trout I've ever felt. If that was the only fish I caught on this three night trip, I'd be happy. I'm trolling right now and I'm really focusing on my two rod tips and my sonar. Jay's coming right at me in a beaver just smashed his tail. Probably, oh, did you hear him? He did it again. And he scared the heck out of me. I wasn't, I didn't even see him. He's not happy over here. It's time to get out of here. I just lost a fish. Jay's got another rainbow for the pot tonight. And we got to go. I'm going to troll back down the lake the same line and we're going to get back in the portage. Jay and I just finished the portage. We just double carried the boats. We brought his over and then brought mine over. Only one fish tonight but it was the nicest trout I ever caught so I'm pretty happy with that guys we timed that perfectly we're back on our home lake and it's getting dark 
I mean, what a night it ended up being, too. A beautiful paddle on that calm, still water. Yeah, today was a good day. Fish. Today was a good day. We're going to eat trout for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, she should go up. Fire is going nicely now. Me and Jay both have a fish for dinner tonight, and Jay's making, what are you making? Um, cheddar broccoli nor pasta side. Nice, and I'm doing homemade spaghetti dehydrated. All right, fish down. Brookie and a rainbow. It's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Dinner is done. Spaghetti, obviously, you've seen it. It's done. It's delicious. I just made it before I came. And the brook trout is looking pretty good. You make your own sauce and everything, don't you? Yep. Wow. Yeah. What a treat. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. We're about to hit the hay soon. We ate really well. I'm stuffed. We caught some nice fish today. And we're going to get up and get out of here early in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I'm packing up. So, good night. And be well. And be well. Good morning. It is beautiful out there today. I wish I turned the camera on about 15 minutes ago because it was even nicer. But I am all packed up already. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, I don't think. I probably kept Jay up this morning. I'm sorry, bro. No, dude. I was. We went to bed kind of early. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. I woke up like 5.30 this morning with my eyes wide open. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to get on the water, do a little fishing out of here, get on the trail, and get home. We are out of there. The sun isn't really even up yet fully. But it looks like the weather's coming in. I want to beat it. I don't want to portage in the rain. I don't want to paddle in the wind, so leaving now is the ideal thing to do. So we caught, if we don't catch any more fish on the way out, we caught nine fish. Five on the wobbler, four on Paul's rig, and we missed a few on both. I would say the lures that Paul are making, the three-bladed spinner rig, is just as effective as the wobbler. I wouldn't replace it, but I would definitely want to carry both. If one stops working, use the other. They're very well made. They work great. They got me my only salmon. And when he's ready to start putting them out there, we'll put a link in. But Lake Clear Wobbler makes a similar rig and it's almost like $20. That's crazy. Paul will make it much cheaper than that. lake here we're going to circle this one or two times see if we can pick up a brook trout before we leave we're going to be out all right guys we just lost a nice fish and the wind is really starting to pick up so i'm turning around i'm not even trolling this whole lake i'm turning around heading back we'll troll back but there's rain coming the wind's picking up so i'm getting out of here but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We caught some nice fish. We got salmon, brook trout, rainbow trout. We ate a brook trout. We ate some good food, hung out with Jay. Good way to close out the trout season. So as always, thank you for watching. We appreciate all of you watching these videos. We'll see you in the next one.